Can I ask you a question tonight? And will you be honest with me? What makes your heart sing? What do you love to do? And if you could make the most meaningful and significant life, what would you do? Who would you be? Between 2000 and 2010, the U.S. economy recorded zero job growth. According to the CEO and chairman of Gallup, we are 10, maybe 20 million jobs short of a vital middle class. He calls our unemployment statistic the big lie. Meanwhile, technology doubles its capabilities every 12 to 18 months, as evidenced by a 15-year period where productivity grew $3.5 trillion with no new labor hours. Yes, 50% of all jobs are vulnerable to automation. Job security is a lie. Technology has transformed work. There has never been a better time for you and I to move from job taker to job creator, from reporting to the CEO to being the CEO. My own journey to doing what I love and profiting has mostly been three steps forward, one giant step back, face plant. <laughs> I share it with you tonight to be transparent. If I can fail my way to doing what I love and profiting, anyone can. It started 14 years ago. I thought I had arrived. My business partner and I had built a multi-million dollar company. I had done a hair care line with the past VP of Revlon. I was happily married with two kids. 120 days later, the phone rang. It, oh, my business partner first, before that happened, talked me in to selling the $12.3 million salon chain we had created the franchising division that was doing 5.3 million. And so then, 120 days later, the phone rang. It was the bank. My account was overdrawn. Yes, that one. It appeared my business partner wanted a little higher return and so had done a little, no, a lot of day trading. 60 days later, the phone rang again. This time, the voice on the other end was sobbing. The plane, their plane, it crashed. For people my children and I had adopted as family, our nanny, her husband, our adopted grandparents, perished. Suddenly, I had a life I didn't order, expect, and certainly didn't want. I was more broke than a millionaire, more lost than found, and more single then married. My business partner had been my husband. Even breathing was painful at this life intersection. And so I prayed. I wanted to find the roadmap to make a new life where I'd only invest myself in what was meaningful, valuable, and allowed me to be a better mom. My journey to meaning and making money began when I launched a social venture. It gave its profits back to kids' charities. Meaning and purpose was high. The business model sucked. It lost money. Four years later, I closed it and headed toward teaching middle school and high school. Of course, I had to go back and get my master's first. Teaching led me to my very best self. The impact in my student's life was surreal, but my own kids were still eating way too much Top Ramen. So I went and taught college and launched a consulting firm. Eight years later, I'm recently back from consulting an entrepreneur in Bali. I spend my time on the campus of UCF helping kids do what they love and profit. And I'm months away from a lifetime dream of publishing my first book, Dear Rockstar. You can do what you love and profit Begin with you, not your brother-in-law's idea or even that opportunity. What, when you do it, are your very best self? What are you passionate about? 
What has meaning and significance for you? How can you add value, contribute, and serve? Now imagine yourself every day showing up, doing what you love, investing in only what is meaningful and purposeful, contributing in the way only you can. Who are you helping? Who wants and needs what you can bring to this world? Now don't you dare execute, search. You know all those people you imagine giving you money for when you contribute and add value? Go out and have conversations with them, 25, 50, even 100. Find your first clients before you spend all your money. And then identify, identify a mentor. Find someone that has done what you already want to do. Maybe she'll help you grow into the woman you imagined yourself becoming. Maybe she'll help you become the next Richard Branson. Mentors, they accelerate us. And then ask yourself about life return on investment. What is the return from the investment of yourself? And life opportunity cost. What are you experiencing? What is the cost of how you invest yourself? Because you, you dear rock star, have been created unique, one in six billion, born to rock your one precious life, as no one before and no one after. So make a life. Make a life you love, not merely a living. Can I ask you a question? What do you love? Do it and profit. <laughs>